Hello everyone. Let's see how to join a single wire uh, to a parallel wire that is two wires running parallelly. Insert the heatsink tube. Heatsink should be a tube should be of the length required length not too short not too lengthy strip the wire a centimeter and half don't use, use the cutter just turn it once if you turn it more than once you may break stands The stand should cross in between the strip length. Turn them. After turning or before twisting only, you can apply soldering paste. The paste which I am using is used a lot. I have used it a lot. Apply soldering paste so that if there is any insulation or corrosion on the wire, it will be taken out or melted out. I am not using any helping hand here because we can't carry helping hands everywhere in the site, project site. Just go on soldering it in the way I am showing it to you. See, the soldering should be surrounded totally throughout the twisted part. Wait for it to cool down a bit. Otherwise, it doesn't. Uh, it will not allow you to slide the heatsink tube inside. Let's wait for it to dry. If you want, I'll show it to you. The soldering you need soldering by cleaning it with thinner. Here you can see the way it is soldered totally throughout the st stands all the stands are soldered together now slide the heatsink tube heat it with the hot air Start it in from in between, slide it toward, towards. Now one more thing is, if this joint is being created in some extreme temperatures in the area <coughs> where there is some extreme temperature, there are chances that these leaves gradually they go on stripping out the insulation on the copper wire goes on stripping out there are chances so to prevent that to prevent that take one more piece of wire here in this way and and take two cable tags here
rear plate. And what is this side? also the stands won't come out see that only thing is if you are passing the wire through the pipe tie the stacks to the edge and splice the second wire in cross angle in this way here splice it cross in cross so that it won't give much trouble in passing through the pipe and if these joints these locks are causing you trouble what do you do take instant adhesive put it here just a drop of instant adhesive, instant adhesive just put it drop here and then splice the head that time also the instant adhesive will hold it make hold tightly onto it. Now we'll go with the two wires. This one is fast. Okay. And the hitching tube which I have put is same color. So you will get different color hitching tubes in the market or online, you can buy them online as well. Now I will show you with the two wires. So now we need to join these two wires. Usually this type come with the adapters, power adapter for your electronic gadgets. Here most of the people what they do, they strip the wire here itself and then they will join it together but and they will insulate it by wrapping a tape etc. And here it will create a bulge. So to avoid that what we will do is cut it at a distance of an inch. Remember to see the marks on the cable. Here you can see there is one more mark so this should come here yeah, that's it so now we have cut the negative wire no positive Only you will lose one inch of length in this process. Strip the wire, twist it. Don't strip it too much as we did in the previous. Before stripping, before stripping, we'll insert the better to insert the hitching tube, or else the strands will start bending up. We'll insert the hitching tube before stripping it. Okay. 
Flip the wires into paste. Both the wires. Or else you can solder them once before joining. Remember with the marks on the wire or else the polarity of your adapter will change. If we use a helping hand to hold one of the wires, it will be very easy but here I am not showing you that. If we have not twisted the wire, the joint won't be proper. Joint will be proper. There will be proper conduction as well. case we did not need to install insulate both the wires separately here I am using a transparent heatsink tube if you want you can cut the strip the wires to an extra extent twist both together and then you can solder it in the way I have shown. Yes. 